Everything that we do in the United States has become so dependent on personal vehicles to do that we've become what I call car country. I got my driver's license when I was 16 and it was just thrilling. It opened up a completely new world. One of the widely held explanations for why Americans drive so much is that we have had a, a long-standing love affair with the automobile. The problem is that, that liking cars and driving cars a lot are two different things. So the question is, why do we have these car-dependent landscapes on such a grand scale and other places don't? How did that happen? When the first cars appeared in the United States, the nation's country roads were in an absolutely deplorable condition. Cars themselves were outrageously expensive and notoriously unreliable. And to top it all off, the nation had the world's most extensive and highest quality rail-based system, um, and that included both railroads and urban streetcar networks. So what happened? In my book, I explain how transportation policy very slowly developed a pro-car and pro-highway tilt. I examined the entrepreneurs who, between the two world wars, began to experiment with new location strategies and business models that relied on automotive traffic in order to function. And I look at government officials at all levels, starting up at the federal government, moving all the way down to local zoning boards, who first began to develop incentives for car-oriented development that later became outright regulations. So by the time Congress fully funded the interstate system in 1956, I argue that the United States had already become car country, a place where car dependence is so woven into the basic fabric of our everyday lives and landscapes that we hardly even notice it, a place where developers find it basically impossible to build anything that's not completely oriented around automobiles. Thank you.